Hey everyone! <laughs> Good morning! Who's that? Oh, it's Teddy Bear. It's Teddy Bear. He always has to greet everyone to say hello. I'm so excited today, um, partially because I figured out print and cut stickers and I want to share that with you and the other part is today is my last day for chemo and I've already spoken with the doctor to do some preventatives so I won't have that bad reaction like I had before so I'm pretty psyched about that but I'm probably a little even more psyched about stickers <laughs> I hope you are too because boy it's a whole lot of fun and I want to welcome my friends um Paula and Mishka good morning and who else we've got Emmy and Wanda hey Wanda I've been meaning no Emmy Emmy I've been meaning to talk to you um will you send me a message hi Michelle and Terry hi Penny nice to see you yeah, it's going well. Dorothy, good morning. Yay, it's my last it's my last um treatment. I'm so excited about that. Hey Felicia, nice to see you and Lisa. So um, you know, I I I don't know why. I've never tried stickers with print and cut before. Um and I had a lot of people ask me, good morning, Pat. Um, yes, I am very happy. It's my last treatment. Hi, Constance. Um, and Nancy, seeing some new names. Good morning, Wendy. Uh, Rebecca, good morning. And uh, let's see, Let's close out these files. Yay, so pretty excited. So I don't know which one I'm more excited about. It's um, the print and cut. <laughs> that got the stickers or the um the last treatment is probably equal but um I have just gone to town looking for and playing with these little stickers these guys are from an old old cartridge called teddy bear parade and usually you'd cut them out and there's a lot of little features these are found in Cricut Access um and so uh Emily, uh, Emmy, email probably be better. Miss Rita to the rescue at Gmail. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Dorothy. Yes, print and cut. And then this is on sticker paper. Um, so I wanted to show you all of these wonderful things that I found in Cricut Access. And then I also found a bunch on Etsy. And I want to show you how you would, um, import them in Etsy a few things to keep in mind when you're using these for um for uh Cricut Design Space now let's get down to some housekeeping things first of all if you have a joy then you cannot do I'm sorry to say you cannot do print then cut but if you have and explore any type of explore and or a maker you can do print and cut that's because there is a sensor that's located on the machine that allows the machine to read by by way of this square around it okay um and there is no sensor on the joy so that's some, this is something not for joy owners um but it's still useful to see it in case you um decide if you're in the decision making process of which machine i want um you know to buy if this intrigues you you may want to consider an explore um, or a maker and instead of a joy although I love the joy and I love all that it can do as far as um, oh Nancy but stay with us okay um, and so hi Christine Nancy's saying it leaves her out but but it, it's useful to see how this works and in some cases as long as you have a printer um, and the right thing you can use this this thing you could cut them out if you wanted to using a printer um, and then cutting it hand cutting it out but this helps you cut out um, yes I thought so too Emmy is saying about planner these are all Anna Griffin images also included if you have Cricut Access. And what you'll see is when this prints out, it kind of looks a little 
a fuzzy around the edge. That's called bleeding. Um, and the reason why they do that is so when it cuts around, it doesn't cut white around the sticker. And that's important if you want to have a nice, fresh, clean look. Okay, I'm going to show you how to find all these and everything, but let's get back. Thank you, Nancy. Thanks for staying. Um, and let's get back to printers. I have an old, <laughs> I bought it for 50 bucks on Black Friday um, in Walmart, HP NV. I think I bought it four or possibly five years ago. 2016 yeah 2000 probably 2016 it's a cheapo <laughs> you know I I can't stress that enough now you could have a very fancy laser printer or a you know all top of the line or you know whether it's laser inkjet mine's an inkjet and um, so obviously the higher quality, you're going to get higher quality from uh, like laser or up to date um, inkjets. But this is me. I, you know, I don't usually buy a whole lot of tech and this works fine, although it makes a bunch of noise. So all you have to do, though, is make sure that when you're working with uh, print and cut for design spaces that your printer is connected to whatever your device is, whether it's by Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or it's a direct connect, which is what I have. So let's get started on this. First, I want to show you these. Uh, yesterday, I started cutting. This, these are the ones that I started cutting, which was kind of a mystique because these are very, very uh, small. I made them pretty small. And then you notice they all have little legs. And the print and cut is so good that it cuts around all the little legs. Only when you peel it off, sometimes the legs don't come along with it. Yeah, you can do print and cut with a laser printer. Yeah, I can't see why not. Um, I can't see why not. I don't have a laser printer, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so these I cut out, and I want to point out these these little tiny legs are problematic when you if you're cutting it out this small. So um, so we we want to talk about sizing and stuff like that. I learned my lesson. The next thing I did, which was um, these were no legs, <laughs> and these are all little sushi guys, all the different sushi. Now, this is called kawaii. It's spelled K-A-W-A-I-I, -I, and it is um, Japanese, and it, stand, it's, it means super cute. And these, these kawaii um, little guys are sweeping the nation. People just love them, putting little faces. Um, I always say anthropomorphizing <laughs> because it's like turning food into um, into people, but, and what, what I, I found these all, these are all from Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to find them. Look at this one though. Where is it? Where is it? I thought they were all great, but I came to the donut and I love donuts and he's got a mean, sad, like an angry, sad face on. Um, and so, you know, there are black and white images, by the way, Christine, or if your black and white does um, grayscale, it would still show up, not color. But like, why would they turn this, uh, turn this happy little donut into a, maybe he's sad that we're gonna eat him or something. But um, here's a waffle eggs, my little coffee, my latte, all different kinds, pan happy pancakes. Um, and then I moved on from food. I guess I was hungry when I did that. And I found these other images. These are like little, I guess they're representative of, uh, of countries. So this one's Canada with the Mountie. And this one's supposed to be for Australia. Um, let's see, this is a lumberjack from Canada. And then there's some French one, French one, German one, uh, English one. Yep. Again, with the legs, I cut these really, really small. And I noticed this one didn't cut out all that great. So that could happen. I think I did bleeding on it. And then look. 
Statue of Liberty. So those were great. So then I moved on to images that weren't prepared for print and cut. Um, so I had to do something called flatten them. And I'm going to show you that. These are teddy bears and they came from, you know how much I love teddy bears. They came from a cartridge, a very old cartridge. Um, I call it a cartridge. It's supposed to call it a um, a uh, image set now, but it came from a very old cartridge called Teddy Bear Parade. I'm gonna show you how to find them. I also wanna show you, um, here is what it looks like when you go to print it. It prints this, and it this is printing. It prints this black box around. You notice it doesn't use the entire piece of paper. Um, they could only program it this, but it, it uses a, quite a bit of it. So there's a little bit of down here, there's a little bit of waste, but you could always cut that and use it for some other reason. Also, while I'm talking about this, I want to do return address labels. And I was thinking about that last night. I got up at three in the morning and I was thinking about, oh, I had to do return address labels, but I figured I would save that for another time. But return address labels are so simple that you never have to buy them again and you can make them Hey, Idaho, Tara from Idaho. Hi, Bunny. Bunny's from Illinois, I think. I think. Um, and Tara from Idaho, I think you're probably our first Idahoan. Idahoan? Um, <laughs> so anyway, welcome. So this is what it looks like. Now, the paper that I purchased, the sticker paper, I got on Amazon. Um, and I'm going to show you. Let's move you. All right, so let's move you. I hope you can see my screen okay. Whoop, something fell on the floor. Okay, so uh, let's go to Amazon. This is what I purchased, and it was only $15, um, and it is thin. I wanna show you. Oh, good! Serena's saying her, her one and a half year old is watching and loves the images of the characters. Yeah, they're so much fun. So this is what the paper looks like. It's just plain old, a full sheet of sticker paper. Now, I thought this was kind of thin, but if you wanted something thicker, I remember when I used to have my um, soap business, I used to buy uh, all kinds of stickers. Uh, sticker paper for my labels from a company called Online Label. So I want to show you. It's onlinelabels.com and they have a much bigger selection of labels where you can buy them. If you have a laser printer or an inkjet printer, you can buy them in removable, a standard white mat, and they do sell them um, in bulk or in small amounts. I have ordered from these guys in the past. They're excellent, excellent quality. And you can buy things like weatherproof if you're, you know, it's not waterproof, but it's weatherproof. Then they do recycled. They have glossy, they have clear. So um, at, at this rate, just if you're going to use online labels.com, just make sure you're buying for your particular printer need. So this is a uh, standard white, which would work. It's probably similar to what I bought on Amazon. Um, yeah. Oh, so, so Emmy's saying if you pick a 20 pound paper that doesn't cut all the way, I also want to show you another little trick. Okay. Hi, Jane from Pennsylvania. Hi, Roxanne. So, um, it came in a box and, uh, came pretty quick from Amazon. I can't speak to what's going on with online labels, but in the past when I ordered, I always got them fairly quickly. Um, and they also, if you are, you know, a label person, they have probably every label under the sun. And no, I don't get paid <laughs> to promote them. Okay. So, so we've got, we covered the machines, we covered the printer, and now we covered the stickers. And I want to cover, um, where you find these images. Yes, you can purchase these on a place like Etsy. Um, and the way that I found all of these is by typing in uh, the word 
Kawaii, K-A-W-A-I-I, clip art. Um, I did not put SVG because um, it's a lot of times people post these and they don't put them as SVGs and they don't need to be SVGs, okay? So that's slightly different than what we're used to if you're buying SVGs outside of design space. So you can just click on them, check them out because the prices vary wildly. Um, but then if you purchase them, um, you add it to the basket and it's a digital download. So for instance, Let's just click on, and you don't just have to do the kawaii. You can just type in clip art, and you'll get other things. Or you can also try typing in like print then cut. Um, but if you're looking for those like donuts and, and food things, um, kawaii will bring a good return on there. Or you can type in just uh, like a printable or printables can be a little hard because they're usually like full sheets of things that you're going to print on your printer um, but you can sometimes find things here um, and so that's Etsy but let me show you over here in design space because you don't have to purchase this stuff Okay, good. So, so Shelly is confirming that the shipping is really quick for online labels. And I definitely, I've used them in the past quite a great deal. And, um, and I've never been dissatisfied with them. So if you're just trying this out, maybe just make one little purchase at Amazon like, like I did because I hadn't even thought of, because uh, my brain is sometimes doesn't work correctly. <laughs> so I, then I remembered, oh, where did I used to buy it when I had my soaping business? And I remembered they had great labels, every kind of label you can imagine. So, um, all right, so let's start. I think I have to save this because I didn't. Let's start with, I'm going to call this Anna Griffin. Print then cut flowers. So I want to come back to it. So let's go into a new canvas. After it's done saving, we're going to open up to new canvas, which is up here on the left hand side. Okay. And here we're going to go to, this is something that's kind of new for people. And I understand sometimes it's a little bit difficult. So, um, and, and that may be why it's hard to find things and they are working on it. I don't think it's perfect, but it is, um, it is pretty robust. There are over one, 100,000 images here on the search engine. I got there by going to images. Okay. Now, um, I know that there are several image sets that have beautiful print then cut images. So I want to show you how to get there, but I also want to show you how to do a basic search for something like this. So you can type in the words, I don't think kawaii came up with much, but let's try it. K-A-W-A-I-I. -I. Yeah, so some of these are not part of Access. These are the Marvel superheroes. It also shows this here that I uploaded. It's a corgi. Um, but yeah, so here are these that come up with kawaii, and you also get these little um, faces that you can change out the faces on them. Now, what I will point out here is that it looks as if here, this one here is the same as this one here, but they're not, okay? One of them is set up for print and cut, and the other one is set up for cutting, and you can convert them, but say, for instance, you don't like the face on it, you could grab one of these faces that you like and grab the one that see it says printable here so i'm going to go look for the one that's not printable that is well i should say that is not set up as printable does this one they should say printable so mm, worst case scenario if you don't like the face bring both of them in and and then you'll find out which one yeah this one's a printable 
uh, versus this one, which would be the cut file, and we can change out the faces if we want to do that. So kawaii, or you can go back and search cute. Um, I think I'm in the wrong. Oh, here's where I found the uh, cute. These are called cute characters. This is an image set. I don't know why it brought me back to image set, but you can also type the word cute here in the general search and that will bring up some really cool things. Obviously it brings up things like this word cute, you know, anything that has the word cute in it. But if you found little animals like these lobsters or um, these are, this search, this, these ones here are from a, an image set called Simply Charmed, um, and those are a lot of fun too. So you can find them in the uh, regular search by typing words like cute, and you can also type words like print. And this is, I think, where, yeah, so a lot of the Anna Griffin images, there's a bunch down here, this is where I got quite a few of them. Now, if you want to see the file, the whole image set that these come from, here is what you do. You've got this little eye with a circle around it. You touch it with your mouse and you go to view image sets and it will bring you to the entire image set for this cartridge or eye image set okay I'll bring you to the entire thing and you'll see all of these here okay so that's a way to get to image sets but you can also go back and from this general search engine you can use one of my favorite features which is image sets okay and that brings up over 3,000 image sets or if you're an old you know you've been around for a while these are this is what cartridges used to be the cartridge search now you can only search by the name of the cartridge you can't do say uh, cute and expect everything that has cute in the name to come up it's only gonna if you type in cute which we'll do right now it comes up with these here, but I'm sure there are other cute um, images. And so, you know, it, you, you want to do something that's searching for the name of the cartridge, or you can scroll. Um, and scrolling is, is always fun. So um, let's look at those Anna, Anna images. You would type in Anna's and you come up with over 40 um, image sets that are Anna's. And you notice down here on the window ledge, the window card frames, there's whole cartridges or whole image sets like this one, the Gracious Giftables. These are all print then cut. Um, so these are modified already. Here's one holiday luster. So for Christmas, you can make your own stickers for the outside of your envelopes or maybe to embellish a card with. Here are all the roses that I found. Look at these, sea life, animal kingdom, butterflies, phrases, birds, flowers. I mean, there's just so many. There's a a whole volume, 122 images. Um, and it also, in this one here, it has uh, planner stickers. Um, so let's, I hope, it, yeah. He, these are planner stickers. You can just use these, cut them out. They're like file folder. And it has like, you know, just things like birthday, remember, special day. So if you're a, one of those planner people, here's where you would find it um, by going to image sets and typing in Anna's. And then also here, all the animals, aren't they cute? And the sea life, so much fun. All right, so let's go back to image sets. And just because they're set up as um, as print and cut doesn't mean that you can't convert, 
okay? I know I'm in love too, Dorothy. I'm so excited about this. I'm emotional, too excited. But just because you have something that is uh, already pre-designed to be print and cut doesn't mean that you can't use something that's designed to be cut um, and that, you know, you can switch to a print then cut. And let me show you what I mean. So these teddy bears, as I mentioned, come from, isn't that cute? Um, these teddy bears come from something called Teddy Bear Parade. I don't even have to type that whole thing in. But here we go, Teddy Bear Parade. There's 50 teddy bears for every different occasion, Christmas, Easter, New Year's, 4th of July, Thanksgiving, summertime. Uh, there's back to school, a little angel a queen, all of these. And these will come in as a cut file. So I'm gonna grab one of them. Let's just grab this mermaid. I'm gonna grab one of them so that you can see what that looks like when it comes back in. So then we're gonna also go back and let's look for the charmed. This one's called Simply Charmed. Um, and I love this one because these are definitely good for print and cut. Um, and this is, again, from an old image set or an old cartridge. Like, look at this hamburger. Then there you've got this little leprechaun guy. And there's all kinds of different things, a scarecrow. And even these words would work. Now, when you're um, doing this, you do have to think about the space between things. Um, the print and cut will go through and cut the space between, but the space on the bottom, it will also cut. So if you have something that has, I guess like this one, it has like a squiggly line, keep in mind that depending on the size that you're cutting it out, you might end up with this issue with these little legs that <laughs> may not cut out um, great or you might lose the legs, but that's this is called Simply Charmed. Let's go back. And I also want to show you, let's go to the cute ones, the ones with the, the um, characters, okay? So here's the French one, and I wanted to show you this. So with the French one, you get three types of files. You get this one that's really light, and that is a drawn image, okay? That's a drawn image. So that would be done with a pen, um, which, might you know might be good for coloring um or if you want to hand color you know to give to kids or you can hand color them in to your specific coloring then you also get this one which is without the color you can turn these into um uh, into stickers as well but they won't have the color in them and then you have these that are full color but these are going to come in as a cut file so we're going to grab one of those too Let's see, what else? I'm trying to think. So I showed you Anna, I showed you Teddy Bear Parade, the cute. I'm sure there are more. Um, and this is why scrolling, which is kind of what I do at night, is I go through and just sort of scroll to see all the images. Like things like this, if you wanted to do, these are uh, designed as t-shirts, but they could definitely be turned into stickers. Um, so if you wanted to grab, you know, like, America, land of the free, home of the brave, or whatever, you could do that. So the possibilities, as I said earlier, are pretty much endless. Um, and there's just so much to see in this image set that I know it can be a little overwhelming. There's all our cute little guys. Um, it can be a little overwhelming when you're first starting out, but you can find some pretty awesome things here. Let me see if if I type in print, if it comes up. Oh yeah, look at these botanicals. Aren't they beautiful? Botanical images, right? So this has the word prints in it. It's called botanical prints. So you can get these beautiful succulents and this could be a, a sticker. So I think there's kind of something for everybody here. Um, if you like cutesy, there's cutesy here. If you like vintage, there's vintage here. Uh, there's, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can, um, let's see, 
There's all kinds of things that you can find just by scrolling through this whole thing. But let's, um, and see even labels that you can do. Some pretty extraordinarily featured things like these uh, beautiful angel wings. I hadn't seen those before. Uh, and so, you know, the, all of this stuff, look at the kitchen supplies. That's new. So there's a bunch, a bunch, these honey, which if you're going to like make, uh, make a, 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 like a printable sticker for, you know, if you're bottling honey or something, um, there's just so much to do and it's pretty much limitless when you start thinking I can get these uh, also in design space, but I can get them also in Etsy. So let's bring these ones that I selected in. Okay. And I want to show you, um, how it, if you can change them up a little bit, I don't know what this is. I think that that's not a, an access. Okay, so here are these three. Now, none of these are, if you look over to the right, you see that these are all cut. So if you were to cut these on your, without making changes, if you were to cut these, these would cut out in layers on paper, which Today we're not doing layers, cut layers, and you would layer them up. We're doing print then cut. So we need to make these um, printable. So we would do that by selecting the image, which I have here. And I'm going to go down here and to the right, underneath all of our layers, okay? There is this feature called flatten flatten and it shows like this bunch of layers with an arrow okay and you just hit that and you notice your image changes a little bit um, because it's it's basically going to now print if we go over to here you'll see that all of those layers are gone and now it's just a printable okay we'll do the same for these other three flatten and this one here, flatten. So all of a sudden on the right-hand side, our very, very busy uh, layers panel is has really um, diminished to just three. Now, this, this is where you can change the size. I don't know what you consider like a good size. I first started out small, right? Like I told you, but there were some issues with this kind of thing. So then I, I sort of punched it up. I think there was like three inches. These ones here I cut, I think they were about two inches. And these ones I figured, you know, this would look really good like as a sticker on a card, like as the main feature on a card. So I think I made these like four or five inches. Let me see if I measure that. One, two, three, four inches. So it sort of depends on what you, what size and what you're looking to do. For the planner stickers, I think smaller, probably a better. Those planners sometimes have small areas. Um, and so, you know, you have to decide, and this is where you can change the size like this using these handles. Or remember, you can always go up here and change the size. Remember that um, you only have to change one, either the width or the height. And you just select it and change it. And the other, as long as it's locked, the other one will do a proportionate measurement so you don't end up with a really wonky looking image, okay? This lady's kind of big, so maybe I want to change the height a little bit. Maybe I want to make her like four inches. Okay, so then we're ready, okay? We're ready to print and then cut. That's where it gets its name, print then cut. So we're just going to make it like we make everything and we're going to go hit make it. And what shows up is what is going to, in, in a box, what is going to print on your sticker paper. Now, obviously, if you have more, the, the box would, or less, the box would be less. And those black lines are important. So for people who might want to 
print and cut on a dark color, they could end up with a problem because the sensor can't sense it, okay? So try to stick to light colors um, if you're doing print and cut. Actually, I don't know why you wouldn't do white because it's printing on it, but eh, to each his own. So this is the preview stage. I know I'm gonna be printing it and I have my label paper in my printer. So I'm going to continue. And what you'll see is this dialog box that says send to printer. Okay, so this is the dialog box with my um, printer. It comes up automatically in uh, inside of inside of design space and I hit print. I did, I forgot to point out that it says add bleed. Now bleed is what I was telling you about with, let's see if I can find something that maybe I didn't put bleed on. Uh, where's my little London guy? Uh, bleed is good, bleed is good. This one, maybe I didn't do bleed on. Okay, and it showed up this white, but bleed is good. So here is our, here are our three stickers that we cut out. They're still pretty huge, I think, but I wanna show you them anyway, you know? So there's the sticker paper. It prints on the sticky part that you have to, I, I think I, you put them in the machine with the sticky, uh, the print part down like this, okay? So then we take a, mat and we put it on up in the corner on the mat now we have to choose a setting because we want our our um our images to cut out here's where it gets a little bit um you know based your mileage may vary based on what you're using okay now I was started off with sticker paper, which when I went to the categories, I just typed in sticker. And it came up with sticker paper, clear printable sticker paper, and sticker paper removable. So I was using just the sticker paper. Um, but then I started, and I wanna show you this. Where is it? Then I started thinking, so if I, using sticker paper, so using sticker paper, I cut these, and I wanted to show you when it came off of the um, off of the machine, it cut the front and back. Now this might be what you want, right? But if you're using this, like so, for instance, if for if you're gonna give them to people as stickers to play with, um, then you might want it this way because then when you peel it off. You've got the whole sticker, including the backing, okay? And I can think, you know, maybe there are some people who wanna sell things on Etsy, which by the way, you, if you're using Cricut images, yes, you absolutely, it's called the angel policy, and you absolutely could do that. But if you're cutting it and you wanna use them right away, let me show you. I switched the setting to washi. Do you know what washi is? Washi is like a thin uh, paper, kind of has got all the rage. Um, and so then when I, these were on washi setting, and so when I peeled them off, they didn't cut through the backing. See? So if you say you wanted to just, oh, I want to print a bunch, and I don't, you know, I don't want to use them right away, but when I use them, I want it to be easy to peel them off. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting all stuck up in the stickers. So this makes it a whole lot easier for like if you're just printing out or cutting out a bunch of stickers that you're gonna use for future use or you don't wanna fuss with having to peel off the backing. So that is called washi setting. And look how beautiful it, it came out. Um, so, Let's see, so this is, just let's show you. These were cut on the sticker paper. Now, if you uh, say, for instance, if you get a thicker paper, then maybe this wouldn't um, happen to you. That's why I say your mileage may vary. If I use something thicker, uh, it might not cut through the back, 
okay? Um, so that's, you know, that's a possibility uh, because of the paper that I'm using, but uh, let's move on. I want to show you how these cut out. So there's, this is what we just did. And let's choose washi just so you can see. You type in there washi. And there's the washi sheet. Okay. So we're going to choose that and done. Now we need to make sure. Let me see if I can find a good. Oh, my mats. They sometimes, you know, I use so many mats. Um, and I want to caution you just a word because I've seen it come up in the groups lately is that a lot of people are suggesting or some people are suggesting that people use awesome this stuff that you get at the Dollar Tree store personally I would never recommend it um, because it's a solvent and it strips the the uh, the the sticky part the best thing if you have if you have um, mats and you want to clean them and you do need to clean them and it does bring the stick back is hot soapy water and like a sponge and it will take off of all of this look at this this is a mat due for cleaning definitely due for cleaning because it has all the lint from the paper all right so i'm gonna definitely because it's not sticky all that much and you can wash them several times i do that i work with like probably like 15 20 mats at a time and then when they start to get unsticky i bring them in the kitchen i scrub them all down you have to let it drip dry and then the stick comes back and it does that for many many times okay so anyway this is a nice new mat as you can see. So I put it up here on the corner. I'm gonna put it into my maker. I'm gonna move you. Okay, so I'm gonna put it into my maker. I want you to take notice of the sensor. Okay, so look at the carriage. What it does is it starts, it uses uh, like a sensor, a light, and it looks at the entire thing and there's a little light that comes on to say that it is doing the sensing. And it's just kind of assessing, okay, what is it that I'm gonna cut out and around? Um, and so this is important that having the white background is important because it can't pick up those sensor marks, okay? And it does it all around. It stops and your heart stops for a second thinking it's what is it doing but now it's going to cut them out and what it will do is cut out all around um and i want to point out let me see if i have some that oh okay here's one so this one here the mermaid it has like a little space between the tail and like the harp and so when you remove it be careful because there's this little piece here. Um, it's, there you go. There's that little piece there. Yeah, there you go. I actually cut out these little spaces between the harp. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, so let me see if I see any others that, okay, so this is what I'm talking about with the small. This actually cuts out around between the milk and the cereal, which makes it a little bit delicate. So cutting bigger or cutting on a thicker sheet might work um, for you, might work better for you. Okay, so it's all done, and we cut this on the washi setting. So I'm going to peel off the top. And I have sticker paper. I have, with the washi setting, I have my three. Now there are little tiny pieces here, like between her arms, which I just love that. Here, between that little harp. There we go, nothing on the hamburger. And that is it. This is print and cut stickers. And as I said, when I started, there is a possibility that are pretty endless because not only can you take pre-made stickers like from Etsy, but you can also use um, 
use things in design space. You don't have to use just images that are print then cut or set up as print then cut. You can automatically just uh, flatten them, remember, and flatten them. And then you can cut them out. You can use that washi setting depending on what you're using. You could also cut out, say, that star and add it to print and cut and give it dimension. Yeah, that's true. And, and yeah, that's perfect. A good idea is that sometimes you might want to cut out just one part, not this one. But, for instance, let's say the pirate, right? And maybe you want to cut out the sword in, like, a chrome and his little you know, hook, you want to cut it out in a chrome, you could do that. Um, to leave the backing on Dorothy, I chose washi setting. And I'm going to, let's go back and show you that again, okay? So we're going to do make it. And go, this is just the preview thing. And here are my settings. Okay, so first I have to send it to the printer because that you don't have to worry about settings, okay? So I can send it to the printer. And by the way, oh, here's a good point. By the way, if your printer is a cheapo brand um, and it messes up, which mine sometimes does, um, you can reprint these um, if you're having problems. So you do that, even though it says printed, you do that by touching on here, printed, and it gives you the option to reprint. So if you mess up with the printer or the printer messes up, you can reprint. So to set the materials, these are, this is just the basics. Um, and they also have popular, by the way, favorites. These are my favorites and here's popular. But if I go to browse all materials, up here in the search box, I'm gonna type in washi, W-A-S-H-I. It's a kind of a sticker, um, but not really thick. I'm trying to, it's kind of a little translucent. And um, it's so it won't cut all that deeply. But I did also cut these on sticker. And there are three choices here. So you might have to play around with what kind of cutout you want. If you want it cut out um, so that it stays on the backing, like say you cut some of these out for your grands and you want to send them to the grands um, and you could just, you know, cut these out and, and send that to them um, maybe because they, you know, they can't get their fingers under there or you can uh, send them out this way and then the person would or you would peel it like this off so this was the sticker the sticker setting for this kind of sticker paper and this was the washi setting for the same this is a, this kind of sticker basic sticker paper and so Susan is saying Cricut printable vinyl is good for use for stickers too. And, okay, great, Dorothy. Uh, yes, printable vinyl we're doing. It hasn't come in yet. I purchased some. And we're going to do some printable vinyl. Um, and then we're going to do some HTV. Um, HTV, which is our iron on. It does, it, it eats, Emmy's saying her printer eats the sticker vinyl. But, so, um, so that's all about different, let's get out of here, all about stickers. I'm sure you're gonna, I hope, you're gonna go and start looking in Cricut Design Space for some great things to, to use um, to make this. And again, sorry for the joy owners, this doesn't work for your joy, but it does work for anybody that has an explorer and a maker, any kind of explorer, because of the sensor, okay? Yes, Michelle, I ordered some printable HTV. I don't know. I, and it said it was for inkjet, which is what my printer is. So I'm thinking, how? I don't, I don't understand it, but I'm going to try it because I want you guys to see, even if it fails, I want to show you, you know, how it works or doesn't work. So I ordered some of that. I also have some of that 
water slide. It's called water slide, which is, um, I, I'm not terribly sure if you can use it on your print on your machine. I guess you could, but it basically, it's like a, it's like a paper that, um, you take, you cut it out and you put, you set it in water and it kind of removes up and then you can put it on things such as like candles and mugs and what have you. I don't know if it'll work, but, but, um, and uh, when we do the, uh, Amy, when we do the printable HTV, I got it at Amazon. It hasn't come in yet, but um, when we do it, I'll show you where I got it. Um, I don't think that Cricut carries printable HTV anymore, and that usually indicates to me that they're in production or they're in um, research for something better because um, usually they'll come out with something, if, it, if they get feedback that it needs work, they go back and they, they make the changes and then they, re, um, they redo the product. They do that all the time. Their research and development is so good. Um, and they did at one point have sticker paper, so you could probably use the sticker paper if you picked that up. Um, it was in like a little pack of 10. And I had that. I don't know what I did with it. I'm sure I can find if I look around this studio. But um, my studio is a mess. It's always a mess. So, okay. So coming up tomorrow, we are going to do um, those two box, the, the two cards. And let me show you where we're gonna we're gonna get those cards. So in case you want to. Um, to make them. So first, the one that we're gonna do is SVG cuts. And by the way, she even the, she, I know she has a new baby because it says it ends on the 15th, which was on Monday, but she still has a 25% off thing. So take advantage of it um, to get save 25% off. So the one that we're going to do is a Father's Day um, box card. We're gonna do this one. It's called the Burger Box Card. You can buy it as part of a set or you can buy it um, individually. And the set is called Sundays, Sunday with Dad. So it's $6.99 or if you want to buy just the, this card, it's $2.89. Plus you get the 25% off um, until that ends. But the, the set has these three... Let's go here. It has the burger. It has like a six pack, which doesn't have to be beer. It could be root beer or something, right? And then it has this um, this really neat, I haven't done it yet, but this really neat fishing uh, lure box, fishing box. Okay, so we're going to do that one. We're going to do just specifically this one tomorrow. And then we're going over to 3dsvg.com. And, oh, they're having a summer sale there, too. 25% um, that's new. No minimum purchase, 25% off of your entire purchase. And they have a number of Father's Day stuff. Um, so let's go over here, Father's Day. And I found this one. It's a cheeseburger Father's Day card, which I thought was really fun. Um, also, you can buy this separately, and now you can save 25% off if you use the code. So um, we're going to do this one as well. So we have two cheeseburger cards. One's a box card, and one's a layered card. We're going to do that tomorrow. And then as a reminder, we are also going to be doing date night, um, and that is going to be this gazebo we're going to do this gazebo um which it's it, this one's patriotic but i'm going to try to cut it for um just you know regular because if you're not you know a u.s citizen you want to do the gazebo it, it's a great uh 3d project and it has you know maybe someone getting married and they're doing like outdoor centerpieces or something and it has like space to put the three 
LED, not real candles, but LED candles in there, or he has designed it so that it has also for one, so you can do it either way. So I'm gonna show you how to put that together on date night, which is on Saturday night, 7 p.m. here on Facebook, Miss Rita to the Rescue. So set your alarms and we'll do that. I also have some giveaways coming up. I'm gonna do that, I think I'm gonna do that on Saturday night. I have a few giveaways. We're giving away three sampler rolls of iron-on. These are beautiful iron-on samplers. We've been doing iron-on, uh, a lot of iron-on um, this week. So I want you to try it because it's a whole lot of fun. So that's what we're going to finish up the week with is uh, Friday, the two cards, and then Saturday night, we're going to do the gazebo. And I already have a list of things, okay? Um, and waiting for my win. Yes, I know, Dorothy. It's slow. They are very slow um, right now, but they're getting better. They're getting better. Um, and so let's see, what was the other thing that I wanted to mention? Giveaways. Oh, if you are on watching this on the replay um, in on YouTube, you can join us live every day, Monday through Friday here on Cricut Chat, which I believe is the only daily live um show about cricket um, here on Facebook or anywhere that I know of. Um, so this is a daily live show called Cricket Chat. We've been doing it now for almost two months. And you can pop in by going to the Miss Rita to the Rescue page and following us. And it will alert you when I go live. Or we also go live Monday through Friday at 9 a.m., every morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time, and then also on Saturday nights when I'm able to do a cricket date night, which is on Saturday night, Miss Rita to the Rescue, at 7 p.m. And if you are watching on the replay, we'd love for you to join us, but if you happen to miss it, we I do also repost these videos. You don't get to see the questions and answers. No, I'm going to do the pride shirts, David. I am. I have to, but I was like, ah, Oh, I have so many things, um, but we're going to definitely do the pride shirts. They came out beautifully, beautifully. Maybe I'll pop in on Sunday if I don't have a whole lot to do, um, or then I will definitely do it on Monday. We've got pride shirts coming up. Um, what else do we have? Oh, so many things. Like I said, the water slide and maybe my printable HTV will come in and we can do that. And then all kinds of paper pro uh, projects because you know I love paper projects. So if you aren't already following me on YouTube, you can find me there at Miss Rita to the Rescue. And that is where all the videos reside. There are over 300 videos there and they have all different different kinds of things with Cricut. There's a ton of joy ones there. There's paper projects. There's 3D projects. There's stuff for holidays. So go there. There's a ton of stuff um, and it, it, it never expires. On Facebook, I do also post them in on my Facebook page and in my groups. My groups are um, Miss Rita to the Rescue community page. I also have a brand new group called Just Joy with Miss Rita, Just Cricket Joy with Miss Rita to the rescue. And then what else? Um, we have, of course, our Cricket Newbies and Pros group. One is for Maker and Explore and the other one for Business. There's also a group for people who have the older machines and a group if you like um if you like recipes, we have a, yes, we can do an explosion box. Oh, and we're also going to do faux leather. We're going to do iron on on faux leather. We have so much planned. This is going to be a great summer. It's just going to be a great summer. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. And I hope that you're inspired. So wherever you happen to follow me, thank you. Um, thank you very much. And tell your friends. It's a, it's, it's a fun it's a fun way to learn and you don't have to watch every day or if you just can't, if you're working, ugh, who needs work? But you can always catch it on the replay um, either on YouTube or Miss Rita to the Rescue. Okay, I've talked so long today. I apologize for it being so long. And um, I will put the explosion box, the pride shirts are coming. I will talk to you all 
uh, let's see, tomorrow after I have my last chemotherapy treatment, yay! And um, I'm hoping that I don't have the reaction like last time where I had to miss a whole week. Uh, um, and I am in good hands and I have tons of people praying for me and I so appreciate that. Um, and the thoughts and prayers are important people and I really, really appreciate it. That can't thank you enough. So um, we will see you again tomorrow bright and shiny nine o'clock eastern time here on miss rita to the rescue you guys have a wonderful wonderful day enjoy